Hello, Paul here, and I want to show you Adobe Brush. And in fact, I'm using it for this specific article. I need an illustration for five ways to avoid career extinction, which is why I'm actually using Brush. And there's a number of brushes I've already made. So I'm going to just jump in here and just show you this candy brush because I think it's awfully fun as I can make different letters. Okay, very cool what we can do, right? So we could basically stretch or make a ribbon out of any sort of image. And that was actually from my Creative Cloud. I actually grabbed that image. And just so you know, you can actually pull from your camera roll, Creative Cloud, or from your camera. Now, since I'm dealing with this article about extinction and how I used to promote myself was uh, actually through VHS tape. So here's my old demo reel, probably from like 95. Okay, but I just jump in, grab an image of it, and start to use that as a brush, as you can see. But I want to go beyond what I have there. Uh, notice how I can crop it, but at this point I want to refine it, so basically knock out that white and start to subtract any background element just by painting, as you can see here. I jump in, refine the size, the pressure, okay, and that's what I'd want to do. Make sure we get that nice pressure. Uh, scatter it a little bit, make it as organic as possible. And now I have that nice brush, okay? And uh, we can see it there, and I can always jump in and change the color just to kind of see what it will look like. All in all, I'm just going to click Save. This is just called Brush 1. And now uh, this brush is actually saved to my Creative Cloud library, okay? In this case, I have this CMO library because that's the article I'm working on, okay? So that's where it saved it as part of my Creative Cloud profile. Now that brush is actually available to me everywhere. So if I just jump in, uh, at least everywhere I need it, like in Sketch. So in Sketch, we do have the ability to, you know, use the stock brushes, which are awfully nice, to kind of paint accordingly. But I can also jump in there in CMO library or whatever library you've picked might not be there but just yeah there it is actually just pops up I can select that brush that I just made select the color and just do a nice form in this case I'm gonna make like a, a dinosaur fossil kinda like that okay let's add some ribs in there you guys get the idea and I can jump in you can see all the various images these are discs okay for the discs in its back even what is this a rotary phone I don't know Either way, we can make those sort of like the feet if we want to, and right up here just like that. So you can have a lot of fun, a lot of flexibility with those brushes. Okay, now also at this point, I can push this image to Creative Cloud or even send it directly to Photoshop or Illustrator if I want to. I'm going to send it to Photoshop because that's where that article is. Here it is in Photoshop, and I can continue to work on this design. And not only that, the brushes are available. So there's the brush in case I want to draw some more, even like pick a color if I want to right up here. But you guys get the idea. There's the tape brush there. And lastly, that's how you'd sort of work from your, say, iPad, sketching what you want, and then start to refine in Photoshop. And that's how I've come up with this. This is ready to go. But that's just a quick review of Brush and really what I've been able to do with it. So just have fun creating in Adobe Brush.